What is the gospel? The gospel, Yeshua, the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world and then the end will come. Christians are told Christ's gospel is the gospel of the cross. The cross is part of the gospel of the kingdom, but the Messiah's gospel is much more than the cross. The gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world and then the end will come. Paul, a servant of Yeshua the Messiah, set apart for the gospel of God. When I went to preach the gospel of Christ, I found that the Lord had opened a door for me. Your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Clearly the gospel is just much more than the cross. As we will see as we go through the scriptures. The gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world and then the end will come. Here's what Yeshua preached about the kingdom. Watch out for false teachers. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter God's kingdom, but only he who does the law of my Father in heaven, who keeps it. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, didn't we perform many miracles? Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Away from me, you law breakers. What is obedience to Yeshua's gospel? Others will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ. He will punish those who do not obey the gospel of Yeshua. Yeshua's great commission. As you go, make disciples of all peoples, baptize them, oh, and teach them to obey everything God commanded. This is the gospel of Yeshua. Others will praise God for the obedience that accompanies your confession of the gospel of Christ. Judgment begins with God's household. If it begins with us, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel of God? He will punish those who do not obey the gospel of Yeshua. We must obey the gospel of God. Why are you deserting the one who called you to live by grace and are turning to a different gospel, which is no gospel? Some are trying to pervert the gospel into a license to sin. If anyone is preaching another gospel, let them be cursed. Am I trying to win approval of man or God? Am I trying to please men by denying God's commands? If I were, I would not belong to Yeshua. The gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world, then the end will come. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and told the gospel in advance to Abraham. Abraham heard the gospel. The gospel he promised beforehand through his prophets. The prophets heard the gospel. By this gospel you are saved if you keep God's commands, which I preach to you. Otherwise, you have believed in vain. I am Yehovah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and I will give to you and your descendants the land in which you are lying. Your descendants will spread out to the west, east, north, and south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your, and your offspring. On Mount Zion, Yehovah will prepare a banquet of the best meats and finest wines. He'll destroy the veil that covers all peoples and swallow up death forever. This is the coming kingdom of God. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and told the gospel in advance to Abraham. 
Yehovah says, Blessed is the one who does what is just and right and keeps the Sabbath without desecrating it and keeps from doing any evil. Let no foreigner who has bound himself to Yehovah say, Yehovah will exclude me from his people because it, they will not be excluded. Apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known to which the law and the prophets have testified. This righteousness is given through faith in Yeshua the Messiah, who, to all who are faithful, there is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Do we then nullify the law by this faith? Not at all. Rather, we obey God's law. If someone preaches you a J Yeshua other than the Yeshua we preached, or you receive a, a different spirit from the Holy Spirit, or a different gospel, you put up with it easily enough. What then? Shall we go on sinning so that our grace, so grace may increase? By no means. We died to sin. How can we continue to violate God's commands any longer? Let's be clear. Christ didn't sacrifice himself on the cross so his followers could ignore and violate the Father's commandments and laws. He died for his followers because he knew they, would, they could not keep the law perfectly. They needed a savior. Christ did not die on the cross for the unbelievers and the disobedient. He died on the cross for anyone who would accept his offer and follow his Father's ways, Christ. Only he who does the will of my Father in heaven will enter God's kingdom. The Gospel of the Kingdom. Christians are told Christ's gospel is the gospel of the cross. The cross is part of the gospel of the kingdom. But the Messiah's gospel is much more than the cross as we've seen. There is only one gospel of the kingdom. And the only book I recommend is the Bible. 